Hello everyone, this is Satish. I am a junior developer. I have recently uh, struggled a lot to figure this out. Uh, I took a lot of uh, preparation and uh, learnings to uh, create an endpoint in FastAPI which uh, takes a file as an upload file and then uh, pushes it to AWS S3 bucket. So uh, I just want I just want to share that with you so that it would help you in the future. So uh, here's the flow. Uh, we are going to have a front end client which is going to call the upload endpoint of our fast API backend and our fast API is just going to do some pre processing like uh, in our case we are just going to check the file size and uh, the actual type of the file contents and then if the contents and the size are ideal and according to our requirements then we'll just push it to our uh, AWS uh, S3 bucket so that's the flow and if you look at the application uh, into the programming part we just have a simple fast API app which has a root endpoint with uh, a nice hello message and then a second endpoint which is just the upload endpoint uh, which should be implemented obviously which we are going to do now let me just run the uh, application real quick so you can see it is running and now if we just uh, hit the home endpoint we get a nice hello message okay so now we have the application running let's look at what we are doing in the upload endpoint so this is the uh, parameter the file parameter which is automatically gonna take the uh, file contents uh, which is gonna provide an upload button in the swagger uil also which is the nice thing in fast api we get so uh, the uploaded file contents will be uh, in bytes format and will be put in the file object so this is a uh, an edge case that we are handling here just checking if the file contents are not none and if the file contents are none we are just responding with uh, an HTTP exception and the status code as 400 and no file found okay so now if the file is not none then we are gonna start processing it all right so first we are gonna read the contents contents of the file like this it's an asynchronous method so we need to await that file dot read and this is gonna have all the uh, contents in bytes format so once we have that uh, I'm just gonna paste a few constants that I have which we can use for our convenience because we are gonna checking the size it's good to have these variables so a KB is 1024 uh, bytes and similarly an MB is 1024 KB so we just uh, it's nice to have the constants like that already so now uh, the size let's get the file size it is nothing but the just the length of the contents right content contents is just uh, a byte stream and total bytes is just our file size so once we have the file size we can go ahead and uh, uh, put a check there I'm just gonna paste that to not waste time so if the file size let me just uh, change that to size real quick okay if the size is less than an MB and greater than zero of course we don't accept files which are of zero size and then respond respond with a status code 400 and uh, the reason which we are uh, uh, rejecting the file so once the file size is uh, in the desired range that we are supporting we can go ahead and extract the file type so the file type we might think that it's okay to extract the file type from the uploaded file name but that's not a good idea and that's one of the vulnerabilities in file uploads so people what people do is uh, 
they might tend to in inject some scripts into your uh, backend like uh, let's say a html file or maybe uh, some scripts they try to execute them by renaming them or uh, changing the file extension from .html to maybe .png or maybe .php to some other file types so that's gonna create a vulnerability and execute unwanted scripts in your uh, backend which we don't want so we don't rely on the file types that the user provided and we extract our own file type by using a library called magic let's import that you can install that with uh, pip install uh, python hyphen magic so once we have that we can get the file type from buffer because we have a byte stream we can use from buffer method of magic and we can provide the buffer and provide the contents uh, our bytes and also we can say that mime is equal to true which is basically uh, telling the uh, function to return uh, the file type in a specific format so it just returns the file type in this format or else it's gonna uh, return in a human readable format which we don't need in this case uh, we already have a nice dictionary of uh, supported file types we are supporting png jpegs and pdfs so to get the output in this format we just need to give the flag mime is equal to true so now we have the file type and we are gonna add another check here from the file type which is this so if the file type is not in the supported file types dictionary I'm just again raising an exception and similarly which I did here so with a reason why we uh, rejected the request right now we have done two checks one is the file size and the file type we did not rely on the file name we just extracted it ourselves with the help of magic and now we are good to upload uh, our file to our s3 i'm just going to create a function called s3 upload which is going to take contents uh, it's going to be our contents and a key which is going to be uh, a string now what is going to be the key so the key you can use it as your file name which you can directly take the user provided file name but as I said it's not a good idea to have uh, user provided file names you can store it separately somewhere in your database and act, uh, put the actual file name as a unique ID and then link them both while uh, providing uh, a download endpoint to the user so if the user want to download the file back again they can have the same file name that they have provided but in our case I'm just gonna use a unique ID so uh, the file name is gonna have a unique ID as the file name and the extension uh, the appropriate extension which we know from the file type so uh, the extension is gonna be uh, supported file types of file type so this is basically giving these strings like dot jpg uh, dot jpg dot png dot pdf okay so the file name is going to be a unique id which i'm going to generate with this function which is also python provided from uuid library so i'm going to just import that from uuid import uuid4 which is nicely providing uuids for us and now let's uh, write this function I've already have it written and I'll just paste that to save some time okay so as you can see this is my AWS bucket and I have that in this variable constant 
and as you can see there there are no objects in in the bucket right now and we are going to use a library called boto3 which is uh, provided by aws themselves for uh, handling these kind of things uh, with aws so from boto3 we can uh, extract the resource s3 and from s3 we need uh, the bucket with our bucket name so this is gonna uh, get the instance of our bucket so that we can manipulate our bucket up put files to it and get files from that and i'm just gonna log things out using logru from logru import logger so uh, this function is just taking our bytes and uh, our key just gonna rename that to key and then put the object into the bucket as we have uh, the bucket already it's just gonna put the uh, object the file object into the bucket with the key as the file name which we provided uh, unique id and the extension okay so we are good to go let's look for any errors yeah we don't have any errors uh, we see that the application is running and let me just go ahead and execute it's gonna refresh try it out and then select a file i'm selecting this file which is of uh, 61 kb which is less than 1 mb and greater than 0 kb i'm selecting that as you can see it is selected and execute okay we can see that okay the response is 200 and you can also see that uh, the output message which we said here uploading the file name as you can see the file name is png and uh, a unique uniquely generated id uuid okay let's check if the file is actually uploaded to s3 or not okay as you can see that uh, we have uploaded a file here okay it's uh, just providing a download link here yep. as we have downloaded that let me open that image we are open yes as you can see that we have uploaded successfully to s3 using fast api that's all for today guys hope you liked it bye bye